Pixie Dust Pass Holders, which is the bottom tier annual pass holder for Disney Parks, which means we can only come to the parks Monday through Friday on select days throughout the year. We also work Monday through Friday, so we only have a few hours each time we go to the parks to actually enjoy ourselves. So we're going to take you guys along with us so you can see, is it really worth it if you work that corporate Monday through Friday, 9 to 5? See, we just got off work. We're now here at the parks. We have three and a half hours. Let's see what we can do. We are new to Disney, so I'm just starting my ear collection. So we're going to stop by a couple of the stores we've never been into and see if I can find some ears that I like. on it as if it'll keep you warm. It will. <laughs> Indiana Jones or Jason Bourne? Oh. I think they should face off. Indiana Jones and Jason Bourne? Yeah. The Stuntacular from Universal, the Stuntacular from Indiana. Strike one against the Pixie Pass. We can't watch the Stuntacular because it ends at 4.30. We did get to see Santa though. We did get to see Santa and it was on accident. He was just strolling down the street. And it started snowing out of nowhere. All of a sudden a cloud came and it was snowing and then there was Santa. So at the Fairfax Fair, they have some new food. They have these bowls. There's a waffle cone as the bowl, and then they have select things inside. Saber can start with hers first, since I'm a gentleman. Okay, I got the buffalo chicken bowl, which is a waffle cone bowl with mashed potatoes, buffalo chicken, and then it's got a coleslaw-type topping on top. Not sure about the waffle part, but we're gonna find out if it's good. So I'm gonna try it. I like it, it's pretty good. Surprisingly, the waffle cone actually kind of goes pretty well with it. I don't know why though. Two thumbs up. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> so I got the Korean barbecue pork belly bowl. It's braised pork belly tossed in Korean barbecue sauce topped with coleslaw and green onions served with mashed potatoes in a waffle bowl. Such a random assortment of flavors. Pork belly's really good. I really like the sauce. I don't know. It's good. It's really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Two? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. One toe down. One toe down? Why? It's very strange. But it's very good. So one good thing about coming in uh, later at night is that the wait times are super low. So we're about to get on to... Galaxy's Edge. No. We're gonna get on Smuggler's Run. I didn't know the difference. Sorry. You'll get there eventually. Was it one of the two? No. We're in Galaxy's Edge. Oh. What's the other one called? Rise of the Resistance. That's it. That's Don't ask it. me. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get on this ride. Uh oh. Wow. You couldn't see. There. Yes, I want it. I think we need to put that on the desk. Yeah, and then you just don't say anything when people come into your house. Yeah. And they're like, what is that? I'm like, what do you mean? What? what? Oh, this? Oh, this. This is my pet. <laughs> it's a little special. I feed him once a week. It's a puffer pig. Oh. <laughs> wow. Can you hear it? 
That's weird. Do you want me to? <laughs> He's out of here. A pro tip about Hollywood Studios, if you, if you wait until Fantasmic happens at 7.30, and all the rides magically are like walk-ons while everybody's at Fantasmic. And they have another show on Fantasmic 9.30, so just at the 9.30 showing. So let's recap. Since we got here at five o'clock, what have we done? We have, we rode the Toy Story ride, we rode Star Wars. What else did we ride? We've done so much already. So we've done two rides, we ate that bowl. We, ate food. we did two rides. We walked around the entire park. We walked around the entire park. <laughs> and now we're on our way to Mickey and Minnie's, which is 25 minutes at the moment. And it's only 7.30. Yeah. So and we're going to see uh, the show at 9 o'clock. Yeah. So it's a fun-filled day in so, four hours. You so could definitely get a lot in. So. Definitely do it. And we looked for uh, for ears. Oh, yeah. We did go in a lot of stores, too. Yeah. So that was not Looking quick. Looking for ears and Starbucks. We stores and looked at everything. So that took some time. It did take some so, time. Definitely worth it. What? Not oh, they don't even have the... They don't even have the regular standby entrance open. You just walk right in. All right, now that we've ridden, ridden, rode, ridden everything, ridden everything. <laughs> now that we rode three rides, what are we going to do now? We're going to get a drink. What kind of drink? A little treat. Oh. So for our drinks, we stopped at the Sunshine Day Bar, which is down Hollywood Boulevard, right in front of the Tower of Terror. They have some holiday drinks, some holiday specialty drinks, and we got two of them, and they look amazing. I got the Shimmer Over the Moon, which is apple pie, moonshine, amaretto, pineapple juice, club soda, and then you get this souvenir light up little cube, which is super cute. It tastes just like an apple juice. That's a 10 out of 10. Two thumbs up. <laughs> I got the Magical Beacon Cocktail, which is gin, blue carousel, lemonade, lemon, hibiscus, grenadine, and it has a glow cube inside the drink. Well, if you like gin, you'll really like this drink. It tastes almost all like gin. I get like a little bit of the blue carousel. Um, but just gin. Maybe if I stir it up. Maybe it's it's sat. Maybe it's sat for a little bit. Nope. Still just a bunch of gin. Two thumbs to the side because I don't like gin. But if you like gin, then I guess you know you love it. So is the Pixie Dust Pass worth it? 
I honestly think so. Even though you don't get some of the shows, you don't get to meet some of the characters, some of the dining is not open, you do get to ride a lot of rides with the crowd levels being low. It isn't blazing hot during the day. And you get to enjoy a piece of Disney. If it's only two and a half, three hours, it's still Disney. We still got on three rides today. We went shopping today. We got food, we got drinks. We saw Fantasmic. We did basically a full day of Disney in about three and a half hours, just because the crowd level is so low at night. So if you're thinking about doing it and you work Monday through Friday, there is that opportunity to come to Disney, enjoy it, and go home. So that's it for us here. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you love the video, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see us at Christmas time at Universal, click on uh, the little box below me. Until the next time.